Hi, welcome to the chapter on trigonometric functions. This is in your additional mathematics syllabus, chapter 11. So what are trigonometric functions? In mathematics, trigo functions are the functions of an angle. They are used to relate the angles of a triangle to the lengths of its sides. So then let us recall that given theta as a reference angle, this would be the hypotenuse, this would be the opposite, and this would be the adjacent. Sine of theta is defined as opposite over hypotenuse, and in this diagram, it is given as AB over AC. The cosine of theta is defined as adjacent over hypotenuse, and in this diagram, it is defined as BC over AC. Last but not least, the tangent of theta is defined as opposite over adjacent, which is given as AB over BC. So, in mathematics, we focus on the practical applications of trigonometry. However, in additional mathematics, we will be investigating various trigo functions, properties, and identities. Take note that these ratios you see here are also known as trigonometric ratios of acute angles. And also, acute angles is defined as angles that are less than 90 degrees. Okay, let's move on to complementary angles rules. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. So if we let angle ACB equals to theta, then angle CAB is equals to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus theta due to angle sum of angles in a triangle. And this can be simplified to 90 degrees minus theta. So if angle ACB plus angle CAB is equals to theta plus 90 degrees minus theta, which is 90 degrees, then we can say that angle ACB and angle CAB are complementary angles. Okay, in this next portion, let us first look at the angle theta. The sine of theta is defined as opposite over hypotenuse, which is given as x over z. So at this point in time, let me just define, or rather, yes, define my opposite adjacent and hypotenuse with respect to reference angle theta. So the cosine of theta is given as adjacent over hypotenuse, which is just y over z. And finally, the tangent of theta is defined as opposite over adjacent, which is x over y. Okay? So the most Im important thing in this section is to realize that our opposite hypotenuse and adjacent, adjacent might not be the same depending on the reference angle. Okay, in particular, the opposite and the adjacent will change, but the hypotenuse will not. So, the sine of 90 degrees minus theta, which is this angle over here, okay, is defined as y over z. Okay, why is this so? Okay, now with respect to this new angle, y is now my opposite x is my adjacent, and finally, z remains as my hypotenuse. So therefore, opposite over adjacent will just be, sorry, opposite over hypotenuse will just be y over z. Okay, so the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is defined as adjacent over hypotenuse, which is just x over z. And finally, the tangent of 90 degrees minus theta is defined as opposite over adjacent, which is just y over x. So at this point in time, do you see any relationship between the two sets of trigo ratios? Look carefully, can you see that sine theta is the same as cosine 90 degrees minus theta? And the cosine of theta is equivalent to sine of 90 degrees minus theta. And perhaps for some of you, the relationship between tangent theta and tangent 90 degrees minus theta might not be so clear. Okay, so don't worry, we will be 
exploring this relationship in greater detail. Okay, since sine theta is equals to x over z and cosine 90 degrees minus theta is equals to x over z, sine theta is equals to cosine 90 degrees minus theta. And since cosine theta is y over z and sine 90 degrees minus theta is y over z, we can safely say that cosine theta is equals to sine 90 degrees minus theta. Last but not least, since tangent theta is equals to x over y and tangent 90 degrees minus theta is equals to y over x, we can safely say that tangent theta is equals to 1 over tangent 90 degrees minus theta. Okay, so just to summarize, sine theta is equals to cosine 90 degrees minus theta, cosine theta is equals to sine 90 degrees minus theta, and finally, tangent theta is equals to 1 over tangent 90 degrees minus theta. Okay, so it's practice time. Please take out your additional mathematics, SEC 3, SAM 2 workbook, which is the pink color, uh, one that you're holding on to, and turn on turn it to page 11-1. Thank you for watching this video.